Are you tired of running your Angular end-to-end -end tests and waiting for the entire project to rebuild every time you make a change? If so, you're in the right place. Today, we're going to explore how to run your tests in watch mode without that annoying rebuild. I totally get it. Running NGE2E every single time can feel like watching paint dry. It's frustrating when you're trying to be productive and the build process just keeps getting in the way. You're definitely not alone in this struggle. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, is there a way to run the tests without rebuilding the entire project, just like ng-test does? If this sounds familiar, stick around as we dive into the solution. So why does this happen? When you run NGE2E, it rebuilds the entire application to ensure everything is up to date. This can be time consuming, especially during development. But don't worry, there are ways to streamline this process. And make sure you stay with us until the end. I have a fantastic tip that will help you speed up your testing workflow even more. To run Angular end-to-end -end tests in watch mode, the user should first ensure they have the necessary dependencies installed. This includes the Angular CLI and Protractor. Next, the user needs to configure Protractor to run in watch mode. This can be done by creating a configuration file or modifying an existing one. After configuring Protractor, the user should run the Protractor command with the watch flag. This allows the tests to run continuously without rebuilding the entire project. Finally, the user can make changes to their spec files and Protractor will automatically rerun the tests without needing to rebuild the project each time. Fun fact, did you know that the first automated tests were written in the 1950s? We've come a long way since then, but the goal remains the same, making our lives easier. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach suggested by a user is to avoid running NGE2E directly, as it can be slow due to rebuilding the entire project each time. Instead, they recommend using the command npx protractor e2e slash protractor.conf.js to run protractor directly. That's all on that answer. Let's take a look at another one. An alternative approach to running Angular end-to-end -end tests in watch mode is to modify your Angular JSON file. Specifically, you should remove the dev server target from the E2E section. This change prevents Angular from running ng-serve during end-to-end -end tests. That's all on that answer. Let's take a look at another one. One alternative solution is to use Gulp to run your Angular end-to-end -end tests without rebuilding the entire project each time. This user discovered this method while watching a presentation. Here's that bonus tip I promised. Consider using a continuous integration tool that can run your end-to-end -end tests automatically whenever you push changes. This way, you can focus on coding while the tests run in the background. And there you have it. You can now run your Angular end-to-end -end tests in watch mode, saving you time and frustration. If you found this video helpful, please hit that subscribe button for more tips and don't forget to check out our next video for even more testing strategies.